Hello, I'm Gary. Today I'm drinking Highland Park Harold. This is a sample that I received from Vin of No Nonsense Whiskey. We did a trade a few months ago. I sent him a couple of samples and he sent me some back. I would like to say thank you for doing that. I really appreciate it. I'm going to try some of these samples over the next few weeks. This is the second Highland Park that I've tried. The first was the 12 year old, which I thought was just okay. This is a Highland whiskey from the Orkney Islands in the far north of Scotland. This was a travel exclusive whiskey, but I now believe it's available in online shops such such as the whiskey Ex exchange. It's a whiskey matured in American oak and European oak casks. It's natural colour and non-chill filtered I believe. I poured some out a short time ago. The colour is not very dark and it's not very light in the middle I would say. The legs are quite long. On the nose On the nose I get a bit of lemon. It's a little astringent as well. I get a bit of antiseptic. And a strange smell of tomato ketchup, which is a first. I'm not picking up any peat. I'm not sure if it's peated or not. If it is, I can't smell it. Onto the taste. This is the first time I've tried this, so bear with me. From the taste I get a bit of toffee, lemon, and a bit of apple. not getting any paint whatsoever. I tried the 12 year old a few months ago. I quite liked it. It was definitely more peaty than this one. This one I'm not picking it up at all. Have a second sip.
at the start I get a bit of cream in the mid palette, honey, toffee, brown sugar, and at the back end a little bit of apple. And on the finish, a tiny bit of antiseptic. The finish is quite long. I can still taste a bit of apple at this moment. It's not very strong. It's only 40% ABV. I think it could do with being slightly higher, maybe 43. Just a little bit thin. I'm going to give this whiskey a 7 out of 10. It's quite nice. But it's not amazing. I think it could do with being a little bit stronger. If it was, I might have gone up to an 8. This whiskey is also quite expensive. I think it's about £75 online, which I think is too much. It's a lot of money for a no age statement whiskey. I think a 7 is a good score. Not bad, not great. Quite good whiskey. Okay, that's it for today. I'll be back soon with another review. Take care. Bye bye.